Hello friends, welcome to Coffee and Tarot. My name is Mary and this is another reading for you. Today we are going to check the energies of your person towards you and towards the third party. We have three objects to choose from. The first one is this uh, little flask with rose petals. The second object, object is this um, flake here with the message, follow, you, follow your dreams, they know the way. And the third pile, uh, the third group of energies will be this bowl with the little acorn inside. Okay, so pick the object that um, to which you are most drawn to. Meditate a bit on your situation, on your person, and make your choice. I'm going to start with pile of energies number one, and that will be this flask with the rose petals. Welcome, pile number one. If you chose this flask, this is your reading. So I'm going to start with your person's energies towards the third party currently. And then we will move on to his or her energies towards you. So let's start with an oracle card first and see what are person on the mind um, of pile number one energy, current energies general current energies regarding the third party involved in this situation so they have treasure islands okay so let's pull one for you now What is the energy of your person towards you right now, generally, in one oracle card? We have round and around. So we have a person here that is, regarding the other person, the third party is uh, in, a, in a motion energy, I feel, with these cards. It is someone who is uh, looking for looking for the end game prize, looking for the real, realization of their dreams. So this is a general energy. This may be with the other person or not, but anyhow, this is a person who is on a voyage, on a trip, on a difficult trip towards the dream of their life. So this energy is influencing the connection they have with the, with the third party maybe you that they wish for maybe happiness in the other connection we don't know yet we will have to see the other cards about you well they have this endless round and around energy here that is telling me that your situation is something that has not reached a resolution yet and this person seems to be trapped in this endless uh, cycle without an evolution, okay? Without being able to find a clearer perspective, always doing the same thing, always behaving the same way. That's the vibe I get with this card. So let's see what is the energy of uh, your person towards the third party, what we have to know currently, what is happening. So we have the Ace of Wands jumping out. I'm not using reversals. Then we have the Sun. Then we have the chariot. So I'm going to pull uh, nine cards, okay? Nine cards spread here. Then we have the hermit. So already I see here a tendency of your person to isolate in order to find um, what uh, makes uh, him tick. Oh, I don't know if this is the right uh, expression. 
in order to find what will make him or her happy, okay? Their true passion. Oops. Now we have... Um, we have this two of wands here. That is the central card of this spread. So again, this is a person who is looking into the horizon, trying to find their way to happiness. So the first sense I, ha I have here, the first vibe I have here, oops, so many, is that this is a person who is in a place but is looking into the horizon to see where uh, his or her true happiness lies. So we have then the Six of Swords, and then we have the Queen of Cups. So, I see your person here uh, very well represented by these Two of Wands cards. Then we have the Three of Pentacles. On the back of the deck we have the Seven of Cups. So, this is a person Clearly, that is in a connection, that is in a certain place, but it's not their, um, their mind, their soul is not really there. They are physically there, but they are not mentally, they are not spiritually there. This is a person who is facing, as a summation of their energy, is facing this very delusional, almost very scattered, very ungrounded energy of the Seven of Cups. Perhaps this is a person who is behaving in a way um, that is uh, about uh, not facing the problems. Um, I feel this is a person who is very isolated from the connection with the Hermit. The Two of, of Wands here is also about being focused on this question, where do I go next? Where do I want to be? Where do I stick this wand here? I already have this castle where I, I am right now. I built this castle, this is my stability. But I am looking into the horizon because I need to build something elsewhere. This is finished already, what I built. I need to build something more. But everything, all this energy is very ungrounded. This is a person who is living in fantasy land, dreaming about this, this treasure island here that is his or her personal treasure island. It is not a treasure, a treasure island of the connection. It is his or her personal treasure island. Where am I happy? Where will I be happy? So, we have the Sun card here, the Ace of Wands here. This is about fulfillment, re, um, being happy, being truly happy, being content with life, more than content. It's about uh, feeling alive again. So, this is where your person is focused right now. They are turned inward with the Hermit card, trying to find their life path their true life path so we have here a person who is with their back turns to, to this queen of cups here this is the other party here this is a this is a, a situation this queen of cups is surrounded by the three of pentacles and the six of swords the six of swords is about distance in this case because it is also supported by the Hermit, right on top of it. Uh, this is about your person creating distance from this Queen of, of Cups here. Even though there is an acknowledgement that something was built, okay? But it is not a full cathedral. It is not a full building, uh, the, the, the building of one's life, okay? It is something that is a foundation, yes, it is something stable, but it is not the grandiose uh, building uh, that this person is looking for. So, there is a call here, a wish, a very strong wish for movement, 
from your person's end with a chariot, with a knight of with the knight of swords. This is fast movement. This is movement with determination, with almost uh, aggression, not towards the other person. I mean, aggressive, fast movement forward, blowing up the, the obstacles that may uh, be on the way. But this is, unfortunately for you, perhaps, this is very beautiful, but it is very ungrounded with the seven of cups it is it is daydreaming almost so this is the current energy of your person towards the third party it is a restless energy uh to be somewhere else but it is not grounded at all so let's do the same exercise now for you right what is the current energy of your person towards you and your connection? So we are starting with the judgment card. The Three of Swords. This is a heavy energy to start with, but I'm not surprised with this round and round card here. I see you probably, this connection probably has uh, some issues that uh, have to be dealt with. Now, the Ten of Spears, and it is coming for a long time now with the Ten of Spears. Your person is tired. Um, okay, then we have the Knight of Cauldrons, this is romance, this is feelings. But um, this is a, a dramatic vibe here I'm getting with this connection. Okay, and then we have the Five of Spears. And I wanted to, to take this Chariot card here. That is a call for movement as well, but um, this person is not seeing the big picture with that, with that five of ones there. It is about missing the forest for the trees. I don't know if that's the exact ex expression, but anyhow, your person doesn't have the focus they need to move forward, even though there is this chariot card here that it is their acknowledgement that they would like movement, definite movement. Then we have this Ace of Stones towards the, mani the manifestation of uh, something, of the first block of a very stable connection. Then we have the King of Spears that is contributing with a very fiery... Um, energy here focused on uh, his own uh, wishes and we have the high priestess oops so so what is this Then we have the Queen of Spears to finish. On the back of the deck, we have again the Two of Spears. So your person is very, your person's energy is very, um, is very characterized by this Two of Spears, this Two of Wands of uh, restless energy, wanting to get out of his castle and uh, start something new, something that's fills his spirit with enthusiasm and with um, life, new life. So, I already see that your person is matching you as uh, the Queen of Spears with the King of Spears. So, in terms of passion, and I see, because in terms of passion, you are, you are the match, right? The most fiery match here. 
But because we have the high priestess right in the middle of, the, um, of both the queen and king of spears, I was wondering if this would be uh, representing a secret. No, it's not the case here. This is about a spiritual connection. The high priestess is about that, okay? It's about uh, a lot of things. In this case, it is about a very deep spiritual connection. This is how your person feels it. You are linked, this uh, king of spears, this queen of spears are linked by the energy of the high priestess and also the king of spears and the queen of spears are per se very spiritual energies. So this is how your person sees you, what your person uh, feels. It is beautiful, but then we have this round and round uh, situation here. And um, that is the trouble, right? That's why perhaps you are here um, watching this pick a card reading. If there were not any troubles, you wouldn't be here. Anyway, we have uh, the acknowledgement here that this person is lacking a, a direction. is lacking a focus here. Look at this. Two elves, they are fighting each other. This is... Uh, the representation of different needs, uh, competi competing forces, competing small things in this case, and they don't see the cat that uh, is about to eat them or kill them, perhaps. So they are missing the big picture here, focused on small things. And the most important thing your person needs to be focused on in order to move forward with your connection with the chariot, they are missing. I don't know why, but they are missing. Perhaps you do. I see emotional pain here. Perhaps there were exchanged harsh words between the two of you or perceived that way. Can be the case for some of you. But anyhow, there are conflicts between the two of you and emotional pain that is making your person feel guilty and tired. So, they have on one side of this chariot the Knight of Cauldrons, on the other side the Ace of Stones. This is telling me that your person knows and acknowledges that they love you enough, they have enough love, there is enough love in, in this connection, at least from their end, to build this Ace of Stones, to put this first big stone, to start building something concrete, uh, something substantial between the two of you. But there are this uh, weird uh, five of spears energy here that is a mess that has to be uh, organized, perhaps, in order to, for your person to see what really matters. So that's it, file number one. If you enjoyed the reading, if this made any sense to you somehow, don't forget to press like and subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you next time. So let's move on to pile number two. Hello, pile two, if you follow this inspiring um, words here. This is your reading. So I'm going to start with an oracle card to let me know uh, what is the summation of energies, the general energy of your person towards the third party. And then I'll do the same uh, for you. So, what is the general energy in one oracle card without reversals? The person on the mind of file number two towards the third party, please. We have the thinker. So, this is kind of the, uh, the energy of the hermit. So let's do the same now to you. What is uh, their energy towards you in your connection in one oracle card without reversals, please? Towards the querent and their connection. We have new life. So, okay, so we have again a person who is uh, thinking about something, perhaps they are thinking about a new life uh, when they are in this connection here. Perhaps they are thinking about your connection. 
this is the the most relevant thought of course for you but let's see the details what is that uh, think about what is the energy of your person towards uh, the third party uh, and their connection please in nine cards no reversals So they're starting with a thinker, uh, exactly, very, um, very coherent um, answer here. The, the king of swords is a thinker. So let's continue. What is their energy? What is happening currently? We have the king of pentacles. So, and then we have the knight of pentacles. Okay. Let's move on. What is their energy, please? We have the Wheel of Fortune. So we have big energies here, I feel, so far. We have now the Page of Wands. And we have the Three of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. So, uh, your person is thinking a lot um, and it's not very emotional uh, so far towards the other connection here. Then we have the Ace of Wands. This is again a person who is trying to find their spirit and the tower to end beautifully, right? And then we have the Nine of Cups on the back of the deck that is telling me that this person is focused on uh, himself or herself, on him, uh, on his or her own individual emotional needs on his own wishes on what makes him feel good cozy inside comfortable um, happy right um, this is a person who is again it's, it's kind of a similar energy from pile number one is thinking about again about what um, would make him uh, happy what would make his life uh, beautiful again what would make uh, his uh, blood pump again inside of his body he's using his mind to trying to find answers instead of his heart that's the problem here mind is very useful but sometimes if we only use it and not our own instinct our own intuition our own heart then we get stuck in, you know, thinking about things forever and not acting. So, as a central card, we have the Page of Wands. This is telling me that your person uh, is focused. This is a person with, with several aspects of himself. He's acting and he's... Um, embodying the energy of this king of swords and this king of pentacles and even the knight of pentacles so the king of swords is bringing an energy of thinking about what to do this is what he wants he wants stability through a mental breakthrough through clarity this is a person who is not feeling stable at all so they are thinking about how to deal with stuff this is another aspect of him, the King of Pentacles, grounded energy, full of responsibilities, people depend on him. This is the other aspect of his life, he is supported by the Knight of Pentacles, dependable, slow moving, trustworthy. So this is how he wants to behave, this is what is waiting on, on him, responsibility. Then he has this kid, this page of ones that is very important because it's really on the center of the spread. This is what is screaming inside of him 
or her, sorry about this, to be happy. Look at this, joyful moments, light hearted, joyful moments. This may also be a reference to the third party situation, but it is also about being happy, releasing the responsibilities for a bit, pursuing his own dreams, his own, what, what he wants, the ace of wands, a new inspiration, being inspired again. So, because this is just a page, it, it isn't strong enough. It is not well equipped enough to compete with these kings and even this knight here that are ruling his life or her life at the time. So then they, he has, they have the tower. This is about a crisis, a personal life crisis um, that your person is facing. For some of you, this may also be his or her acknowledgement that this third party is causing a tower moment on their own life. But it may be the case. In, what I feel most is that this person is living a, a life crisis at this time because his or her foundations of what he believed, of what he felt was stable are pretty shaken nevertheless this person is facing this crisis in the midst of their connection with the other person i don't see a person open uh, being open here not at all it is a person who is very focused on himself very mental performing uh, what is expected of him but is very restless and has a lot of doubts. So let's see the other, uh, let's see your uh, connection now. What is the their energy towards your connection? Okay, they have this new life. So this is a re representation perhaps of everything that uh, would uh, renovate his or her own spirit right this new life this is what the page of ones is screaming about perhaps so let's see the details what is this new life about what is the the energy of your person towards you in your connection currently for pile number two So we are starting with strength cards. Oops. Okay, I don't feel this. I don't like this. And if I don't pull all the cards that jump, it is because I know when it's just my hands that didn't grab the cards correctly and when they really jump. Okay. So it's it's equal for me if uh, whatever card I can read every card every combination of cards so I just didn't feel it was so what is the energy for for pile number two of this person we have the empress we have the ten of cups six of ones wanted to jump out okay it's coming so all is good and we have the high priestess and the five of swords two of, of uh, pentacles so I see the first line here the, the first ro uh, line here the first column here as the problem your person is very focused on um, appearances
Princess of Swords, Page of Swords. This is you. Ace of Swords. So we have the Ace of Cups on the back of the deck. That is the summation of your person's energies towards you. So your person is either in love with you or has a big, big infatuation towards you. So um, that is uh, their feeling, okay? That, that's clear. Now let's see the other stuff that we have here. We have this column here. This is a problem because this is your person restricting, restraining their own impulses, their own instincts with the strength cards in order to maintain appearances, in order to be perceived well in the eyes of others. If this resonates with you, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But that's the message I get here. This person is constantly juggling their need to maintain the appearances with their own desires. This is not about juggling two connections. This is about juggling their need to maintain a certain, a certain image in the eyes of the others with what they really want. So this is a problem in your connection, currently at least. Then we have the Empress, the Ten of Cups. So they see you as uh, someone who is the full package, right? Uh, a wonderful creature, the recipient and the source of every bit of emotional bliss that this person could have, okay? The end game, the maximum happiness with the Ten of... It's the Ten of, uh, of Cups, okay? I'm not making this up. It's the Ten of Cups right next to the Empress. So... This is a part of them. This is how they see you. This is how they see your, you as an opportunity for them to be truly happy. Then they have this High Priestess here. This is a central card that is very weird to me. Let's clarify it, okay? When it's weird, we clarify. But I feel this is your energy too. This is a certain depth that they find they found in you. And I feel uh, this is almost them feeling you have a certain knowledge that they can't reach. And they feel almost intimidated with that. You see, that's the message I'm getting here. The Empress and the High Priestess are two very feminine archetypes about uh, nurturing, about knowledge, about growth. This is you, and they are this page of swords here. Curious uh, mental energy, very fascinated by this. And this is how they perceive you as something very big and beautiful and rare. If you don't mind me using this, if you don't think I am exa exaggerating, well, that's the vibe I get here. Let's clarify it anyway, because I said I would. Let's see. Let's clarify the High Priestess, please. What can I have? Not the High Priestess there. So, okay, so we have the Two of Cups. So this is what I said, okay? This is a romantic, beautiful partnership. This person loves you and sees you uh, as someone who is the right person for them. Then we have this Five of, uh, of Swords. This is another problem. And this is about winning at all costs. This is a person who uh, wouldn't like to face conflicts. Perhaps they don't like conflicts. Perhaps they don't like fights. 
Perhaps they like to avoid it. Perhaps they want to deal with things very mentally with the Ace of Swords. Perhaps they want to find a mental breakthrough in order to avoid to avoid this Five of, of, of Swords here anyway. Whatever the case is, this is a person who knows that people will get hurt because of this connection. Even themselves, including themselves, they could get hurt. Not by you, but by the circumstances. By life, perhaps. So, let's clarify the five of, of swords anyway. Okay, so we have a clear review. Let's get this out. Okay, we have... Okay, the eight of swords. This is, this is that restriction card. Feeling trapped in a situation. So in order to be released, this could be either in a reverse way, it doesn't matter. In order to be released from this prison they have of the Eight of Swords, they will have to cut their way, their way out and people would be very hurt. Perhaps there are children involved here. I see a mother here with a baby trying to defend, um, trying to hide. I don't know. For some of you, there may be children involved here. For others, it doesn't have to be the case. Anyway, this is the energy of your person right now towards your connection. If you enjoyed the reading, uh, don't forget to press like and subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Let's move on to pile number uh, three. So, hello, pile three. If you chose this bowl with the acorn, this is your reading. So... As I did with pile number one and two, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna draw one single oracle card to know what is the current energy of your person towards the third party for pile number three, please, with no reversal. The single oracle card. What is their current energy towards the third party, please? We have ready. Okay, we have a person who is ready for something or is trying to be, I don't know. So, what is the, the energy of your person towards you and your connection? So we have, it's not for you. Mm, okay, so this is only from these two cards. This card may be a little bit scary, it's not for you, but we will see, okay, with the other cards, what, what I feel with this. So, let's start with the third party and see what we have. What is the current energy? What is happening? What we need to know about this uh, person on the mind of pile number three. About uh, their energy towards the third party and their connection, please. With third party, with no reversals, nine cards. So, we are starting with a hermit. Then we are moving on with the, to the devil. Okay, that's pretty um, intense, uh, I feel. Then we have the Ace of Cups. I don't know what to say with these cards, honestly. <laughs> I have a, a lot of things in my mind, but uh, I need more to... To have a focus here. Wheel of Fortune. So this is very, very big energy here of so far. With uh, all this uh, major arcana and the Ace of Cups there. Well, let's see what we have more. Okay, then we have the Four of Cups as a central card. This is a person who is emotionally shut out, shut down, sorry. Uh, with that Hermit card and the Four of, uh, of Cups. Mm. Okay, then we have the Knight of Swords. That is... Uh, 
rushing, uh, wanting to rush uh, towards perhaps a certain Ace of Cups, but let's see more. What is their energy towards the third party, please? Death, Knight of, of Wands. Eight of Cups. What the hell? This is a weird energy, I must say to you guys. And the Three of Pentacles on the back of the deck. We have the Two of Cups. So I have no idea where to start, really. Hmm. So, as the back of the deck energy, we have the Two of Cups. This is about being very focused on um on a certain romantic partnership in this case on their connection with the third party because this is about the third party this is their general energy they are very focused um they're fo they're very focused on this but then they have the Four of Cups there as a central card that is very big too, very important too. It is spreading the his energy towards the other cards, influencing everything in the spread. And then they have this ready card. Oof. The vibe I get here, to be honest, is, and of course, this may not be your pile, guys. Don't be discouraged. If this not, does not resonate with you, it's not for you. This is... You determine the events of your life. Not a pick-a-card reading. So, anyhow, the vibe I get here is that this person is trying to save this connection. But um, has a lot of issues to deal with. The road is not easy at all. There are a lot of stuff, shadow stuff that your person has to deal with, but is feeling very uninspired uh, and is almost waiting for things to solve um, by miracle, right? Without putting a lot of effort. Because I say this because your person is indeed according to these cards, is indeed focused on their connection with the other person in an emotional way. They may not be emotional, but at least they are focused on the emotional part of this connection. This is their focus. But then they are very uninspired and very closed off emotionally at the same time. They, are also, they also have the hermit here. And, and this wheel of fortune that is all about instability. This is a person who is up and down, probably behaving in a very weird way in this connection here. So they have the devil card. It is about a lot of stuff, but it is all, all the stuff that the devil is about is not good for sure. It may be codependency in this case. Uh, it is the easier answer, right? Codependency, with it, when we see the devil in relationships. Well, in this case, I feel it is really codependency because your person is trying to keep this connection but is at the same time very emotionally closed and unfulfilled about manifesting uh, this page of cups here that is a beginning a new beginning is not doing is not doing it and at the same time with a three of ones is kind of expecting the other person to do it and is almost in a demanding energy with the, with the knight of uh, of swords here demanding this ace of cups this page of cups these beginnings here so we have a transformation here with Death card and, and the Knight of Wands. And this is telling me that, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is change. 
but it's, it is very ungrounded uh, change. I don't see a single pentacle here that could serve as grounding energy. This is all major arcana and uh, wands and cups and um, this restless, uh, reckless uh, knight of swords here. So I see your person is, is, is in a very ungrounded energy here, in a codependency energy here with the other person, trying to force a transformation without really being available for it. This is a contradiction, but it is what it is. So, it's very difficult, right? Uh, anyhow, I don't see a person wanting to live this connection, but I don't want, I don't see them um, doing the right things uh, to save this connection either. So, Let's see you, okay? Now we have this night, and it's not for you card. It's not very, very promising uh, per se, right? But we will see more with the with the tarot. So we would like an explanation for that oracle card and any details that may come up. So we have the chariot. What is the energy of uh, this person towards the, thir the, um, the third pile here, and towards the querent in pile number three? We have the world. The Knight of Cauldrons, okay. We have the Queen of Wands, so this is your energy. This chaotic influence in their life, this is how they see you in this deck. This Queen of Wands is the cause for all this chaos here amongst men. She's very powerful. She doesn't give a damn about what is happening. She's just there with all her power. So this is a person who is a very, very attracted to you. Then we have the Nine of Stones. have okay, these two, the Ace of Wands with the Page of Cauldrons. Temperance. So, with the Chariot, the Queen of Wands and the Temperance card, I feel your person is Acknowledging the need for balance in this connection and for most probably from your end. It doesn't this doesn't mean he's or he or she is right, okay? This is their perspective. They feel you need um, to be to have a more balanced attitude. Ten of stones. And the lovers. On the back of the deck, we have the magician. Oof, okay, what can I say with this? Seven of cauldrons, okay. Hmm, so I know, uh, I, I believe you you know that this person has feelings for you, is attracted to you, uh, feels romantic towards you, would like to, to be, um, to have an emotional connection with you, they are emotionally connected with you, in fact. 
but then I feel here that um, as a central card here the nine of stones and in this specific deck this is about proficiency it is about being in a kind of a disadvantaged uh, position but still being very skillful Oops. this is how they see your connection as something that can manifest this is supported by the magician so I don't know why the hell they have this not for your card perhaps it is on the reverse I didn't ask for reverse re reversals but anyhow or perhaps it is a part of you that is very stubbornly telling them that your connection is not for them but on the other hand all I see here is that they feel this connection is for them yes it is just something that is not very easy and would require a lot of skill the magician is about skill this nine of stones specifically is about skill and this ace of spears is about spiritual focus uh, in order to manifest this page of cauldrons that is a real beginning here so the lovers is about a very a deep emotional connection it is also about the choice that is implied here this person knows that and you have this nine of stones here perhaps it is their own stability but perhaps it is also because this is how they see you because this is their energy towards you and your connection they see you as some a source of balance in their own stability at least at least as a potential let me let me uh, let me clarify that world card there so let's clarify the world card the moon okay so oops this is about a very long uh, um, dark cycle so your person acknowledges that your connection has been uh, going through or is going through a dark cycle here. And there is a need to push forward with a chariot and in a very emotional way, in a very in a way that will connect you both emotionally again. So I see a lot of good uh, vibes here. This person uh, This person wants you, but I don't know why they have this oracle card. It's not for you. Let's clarify it. Perhaps this is the ideal, um, but uh, the ideal scenario, but uh, they feel they are not deserving of that. I don't know. This is very weird. Let's see. What is that? Not for you card, please. Okay, now we have again the Four of Cups. This is a person who is living on contradictions. Uh, that's not very uncommon, to be fair. We are all full of contradictions when we don't know how to act and how to feel. So this is, again, this is a confirmation of what I thought. This is his heart. This, here. This is his heart. This is his feelings for you but then they have the four of cups both on your connection and the other connection this is a person who is not who is feeling very uh, uninsp not inspired at all to make an effort here in any of the connections so they live in a, in a theoretical world and they are not manifesting anything. This magician is scattered uh, with the Seven of Cups here. This magician is, is not focused. Weird energies. Uh, this person has very weird energies. This is a person who is, to summarize everything, in between worlds. Between what they know they should do and what they want to do and, and the other part that 
is what they do. They do absolutely nothing. Guys, sorry for this. While uh, threes are usually very weird uh, to me, I don't know why, but anyhow, this is what we have this week. Uh, perhaps um, energies, of course, change, so don't be disencouraged by anything that I say here. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, don't forget to press like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.